Hello everyone, and welcome back to Moss Stone Kingdom, which is currently having quite a bunch of pirates arrive. Look at these pirates! They are so cool! This is apparently a dread pirate black or dark tide, excuse me, Captain Clarissa Dark Tide. And she is followed by her daughter, Misty, who I, I think I see where the incident is going to be going from here. Whoa, did she have like skulls in her eyes? Does she that would be so so cool if you were a pirate and you could just like have contacts that made you look like you had a skull and crossbones in your eyes but this is misty her daughter and they have their like captain uh their lieutenant somewhere around here but we are escorting the pirates back to our castle for a grand meeting between the merchants of tridany and the pirates so that we can hopefully try to mediate some sort of peaceful resolution between the two groups but after getting off on the wrong foot with the pirates and threatening the merchants, I'm really not sure where Queen Briar Rose the Illustrious will be able to go from here. So this is going to be very interesting to see. King Froger, do you want to come back? I could probably really use some help here. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, I'm almost glad that my, my ex-wife stole my kingdom from me. I no longer have to deal with these kinds of thorny political situations. He really has become a more peaceful fellow. But all right, so we have now escorted the pirates back into the hall. Let's see what happens. We have our guards set up everywhere. Where the heck are they going? Oh, all the way into the reception hall. I see. Okay, so we're going to have to go ahead. Uh, we're going to look at this is where everybody has been hiding. Look at that. And our guards are dressed in these really awesome outfits. I see that you deemed it necessary to make a pointed show of force with your security detail, Lady Briar Rose the Illustrious. I'll give you the benefit of a doubt that you're not scheming with Guild Lord Demetrius Landgrab in some ill-advised attempt to bring my comrades and crew to justice. No, we seem to really be off on the wrong foot when it comes to um, when it comes to the pirates, but we'll just have to deal with it. And Asato, I'm hungry. Come feed me. Let's see, call for food. There we go. Oh, and courtesan Lacey and guardwoman Irene are apparently getting along pretty well. Uh, so next, we need to announce the start of the summit. I'd better get this thing started before they rip out each other's throat. Well, they're going to have to wait until I have something to eat. So let's see if we interact with anybody. Is our bard here? I love how the courtesan is here and speaking with advisor Paula. Hey, it looks like Black Sail and the air land grab are... Well, they were getting along for a second. Are they going to come to blows? This is interesting to see. My guards are chatting. <gasps> yes! Oh, fantastic! Amelia, there you are, darling. Yes, could you please... Can we... I wish you could tell your like entertainer to maybe start some music because that would be nice all right people seem to be chatting and did you put like the food somewhere else let me go ahead and look over here did she no she's still making the food okay come on Anisetta. i'm really hungry the queen doesn't have all day are you bringing it to me I think she is. Look at that! Good going, Inesetta. She's bringing us some broiled fowl, so we should have some food soon. And we can spend a little bit of time talking. Hey, the air has a bird. <gasps> He's got a really cool falcon. A uh, gear fal gray fal gear falcon. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. All right, let's go ahead and eat. There we go. Yeah, there's our food. And then after we get something to eat, so far everyone seems to be getting along okay. It is midnight, so I think I'm going to make them all, like, deal with it for a night and go to sleep, perhaps. Oh, they're having a bird calling some contest. Look at that. <laughs> this is awesome. They're just kind of, like, competing for calling their parents at the same time. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool! Come on, can't you guys see how much you have in common? This is amazing. I really love this. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
All right. Well, hopefully they're going to start getting along better. And if that's the case, I am just going to go ahead and let's start the summit. Because I think that things will go better than I think. And it looks like Her Majesty has a little bit of energy. I want his sword. Look at how cool that thing is. I need to get the queen better sword. She's really getting into them. Ah, here we go. She's starting the summit. As leader of the host kingdom for the peace summit, I, Lady Briar Rose the Illustrious of Mossstone, hereby bring this meeting to order. As tradition, each side will re uh, is required to present an offering of goodwill. You may now exchange your offerings and we will begin steps towards a reconciliation. Oh, look at this. The military men are meeting. The Black Cell and the Admiral exchanged gifts. On behalf of the combined fleets of Arbyville, I, Black Cell Corbin Ravenscar, present the Golden Spyglass of Clarity. Its lenses can see through even the thickest fog. On behalf of the Guild Consortium and Royal Tredonian Navy, I, Admiral Horace Mandrake, present the Jeweled Compass. Its needle will always point away from danger. Hmm, interesting choices. Uh oh. Okay, that's just the pirates having a little bit of a spar with one another. Uh, continue the summit. Now to my favorite part. And if I have your attention, I will announce the next part of the summit, which possibly will be food. Oh, hey, he's really beating Misty up. I guess they're doing a show of force. That's so interesting. And now, before the signing of the treaty, we will follow- Oh my gosh! Look at how he smacked her right in the face! He is really showing that he's not going to let the heir of the Dark Tide family pirate fleet uh, not have to fight for her position. Good grief. And now, before the signing of the treaty, we will follow a long-standing tradition of Mossstone. The giving of gifts, whereby gifts are given to the monarch, who in this case happens to be me. Dread Captain Clarice Darktide and Guild Lord Demetrius Landgrab, have you brought your gifts for me? Fascinating. Aye. Uh-oh. Yes, and we both agree that our gifts are better suited for outdoors. For that reason, we shall present your gifts at Town Square. I am a little nervous about this. So now we need to go to Town Square for the giving of gift ceremony. Hmm. Uh-oh. We were almost... What is happening? Are... We were... What? Look at the white cockatoo. Look at the black parrot. Everybody's summoning their dragon. Or, like, their dragons. I My, my parrot is named Dragon. That's why I was thinking that. Let's go ahead and summon ours, too. Jeez, everybody's, like, whittling their sword... Whittling. <laughs> sharpening their swords. Summoning their parrots. Let's go ahead and send him treasure hunting. Huh. And I'm a little concerned about this. But I'm also kind of excited about this. I think we're about to get attacked, is my thought. Uh, but they're all headed out. Okay, I guess. Oh my gosh, wait. Wow. Maybe they aren't being mean. Look at how cool all of this is. All right, what's going on? This is getting really cool. But apparently they agreed to something. Is betrayal on, on its way? And now to commence with the giving of gifts. Am I about to get betrayed? Receive gift from Guild Lord Demetrius Landgrab. These gifts have better be worth all the effort I've gone through for the summit. And the, uh, receive the gift from Clarissa Darktide. Um, you can apparently lock a sim up in this. Oh my gosh, truly? <gasps> That's actually a really fancy, like, golden version of the the um, the questioning chair my spy has. Should I be concerned about this? I'm beginning to be concerned about this. Um, okay, then, Clarissa, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get to know you a little bit. And then let's go ahead and receive our gift from the guild master first. Hmm. Here, let's just go ahead and receive our gift from the Guildmaster, because I'm quite curious, very curious about if he has any fine silks for us. Ah, there we go. And our bard is busy letting everybody celebrate and dance. I don't like the fact they've dragged Briar Rose, who seems like oddly trusting and excited about the idea she might be getting some green silk, out into the dark. Like, yes, we have a gift for you, your majesty. Come this way. I'm pretty concerned. Where's my... Like, they took me away from all my guards. This... I don't think this is good. Hmm. I really don't think this is good. 
<laughs> Lady Briar Rose the Illustrious, I present you with one of the finest new devices we've come across. A multi-purpose interrogation chair. I've had my servants present a uh, place one here for demonstration purposes. Please have a look. May I suggest you test out the chair using this horrid musician over there? Her melodies remind me of a dire chinchilla scavenging a goat. Ugh, make it stop. Of course not. I like her. She's my bard. What the heck? I have to put my bard in the interrogation chair? I don't know about this, guys. Let's, like, gasp and, and nervously, like, we look really upset about this. Let's try receiving our gift from the pirate, the dread pirate. I'm getting nervous. Your sim has interacted with a bird. <gasps> I present you with one of Arbibill's finest parrots. A gift much more interesting and useful than some fancy chair, right? It will, call, it will come to you when you use the whistle to call it. Why don't you give it a shot now? Hey! Oh, this is so cool. I can actually call a new bird. This is so fine. Boy, we have a sunset macaw. That's so fine. Let's go ahead and call our sunset macaw. I like this a lot better. The pirates definitely have my vote so far. An interrogation chair? Ugh. Well done. Now try giving your parrot a command. Send it to hunt for treasure. What should I name you? Oh, my beautiful new sunset macaw. Let's go ahead and send you out to treasure hunt. Dragon is actually out treasure hunting right now too. And up you go, buddy. Excellent, Lady Briar Rose the Illustrious. You're a natural parroter. Now we just have to wait for your bird to return. Sometimes they find treasure quickly, and other times it can take a few hours. This one shouldn't take too long, though. Oh, where are we going? We're gonna go listen to Inesetta? Oh, she's right here. Inesetta, why don't we have you go ahead and try out this chair? Uh, Inesetta's actually listening to us. Let's go ahead and tell her a story about, like, what's going on here. I don't want to have to lock up the bard. I like her. Let's watch her performance first. She's got such a sweet voice. Look, he's dancing to it. Hey, guild guy, why don't I lock you up? But apparently I really have to put the body uh, bard Viv Vivian into the interrogation chair. I don't like that very much. I'm gonna listen to her song first. <laughs> There's the chicken in the distance, I see you. I love chickens so much, hi buddy. Hi. Okay. Well, and yeah, now we're happy because we're listening to her lovely lute. She's very nice. I don't know why this, this terrible man wants me to lock her up. That's not cool. Hmm. But I guess I kind of have to, don't I? Sigh. All right. Well, I don't want her to think that it's like personal. So let's go ahead and ask about her musical preferences and maybe get to know... And then I'm going to have to gently ask her to be locked up in the interrogation chair. <laughs> I'm sorry at the quest. Oh, and look at that. Inesetta is actually meeting with Master Swordsman Finian, who happens to be slightly evil. Maybe, like, I would pair you two off. Evil meets evil. And in one another, they perhaps find a little good. Aww. They're being all gentle and nice to each other. Actually, maybe they're related. They look really similar, don't they? All right, these two are getting a good fight going on. Wow, she's just chugging the rum. He is sharpening his sword. This is going to go interestingly. I'm really sorry, Body Vivian. I wish I didn't have to. Can I just put the Guild Lord in there first? Here, we'll, we'll reassure Vivian because she probably looks scared that we might do that to her. Let's put the Guild Lord in there first. Why don't we go ahead and see what he has to say? If it's such a fascinating interrogation chair, we're going to begin with you. Oh geez, I thought that was like a mummy showing up. Merchant Quinn? See, I feel like he's showing up just in time because maybe he has some association with the Guild Lord. I really don't like this man very much. All right, so we want to have his will and his alertness. So let's go ahead and tickle him. Well, first my bird is going to be returning. Hmm. So he got lucky because my bird came back with some gold. Oh, this is dragon. So now I have to wait for my other bird. How many birds can you send out at once? That's really cool. Can I just like send him treasure hunting? Only one bird can be sent away at a time. Okay, unfortunately, I can't send any more birds. But the guildmaster, it seems, has slipped from the, the clutches 
And I must unfortunately put the poor bard into the interrogation chair. But we locked him up first to show her that it's okay. I'm so sorry, Bard Vivian. I know, I know. Oh, that was so mean! I don't want to be mean to her. Well done. Now that the subject is secured in the chair, go ahead and try out some questioning techniques. But I don't want to, like, mess with her. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and tickle her. And sway her, maybe. <laughs> Aw, oh, see? That's not so bad. When did the feathers from my new bird? I'm only gonna do nice things and hopefully we'll get her will somewhere. I think you have to get it like in the yellow if I remember correctly. Uh, bring it to the bottom of the yellow bar to interrogate them. Be careful not to push it into the red. Oh, bring will to the top to persuade a sem. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can persuade her. Let's show her the box. Let her imagine the riches that are... Don't you want what's inside the box? All right, so she seems to be going good. Um, Let's go ahead and sway. Did I sway? Here, let's show her the box. Okay, so this is what sway looks like. So we're trying to convince her. We're just trying to... Just trying to kind of play with things. Oh, I think sway decreases the yellow. Interesting. All right, what happens if we show her the box? Wait, did that... Oh, no! As you can see, the chair... What's in the box? What's in the box? The chair can be quite useful for many purposes. The chair here is just for demonstration purposes. We've shipped a new one to the village for you to pick up and use as you see fit. I'm sure you will find it invaluable. No wonder I could never find the chair to buy in the village, you guys. I never, ever, ever could get that interrogation chair with my spy. And that's why you have to do this quest first. Oh my gracious. Okay, well, you know what? This is like two birds, literally, with one stone. We're we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sleep at the inn in the village and then we're gonna pick up the interrogation chair also for crying out loud Tegwin <laughs> she's doing her creepy thing again guys do you see her hello Tegwin glad to see that our uh, evil cursed midwife is still still doing her hedge witchy stuff Yes, look at you, my dear. All right, well, this is a good spot, I think. Uh, Queen Briar Rose the Illustrious is headed off into the village to sleep for the night and to also go ahead and fetch the interrogation chair that we have been gifted. So far, the meeting between the pirates and the guild merchants are going more interesting than I anticipated, for sure. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but this is not quite it. And hopefully we'll be able to resolve this in a way that doesn't get us embroiled in all of this chaos. I'm beginning to think we have insulted and we have not quite walked the line finely enough with enough people that we might end up getting Moss Stone to be the common enemy, which is not what I wanted. But all right, if you guys have enjoyed, do please consider leaving a like for our wonderful new parrots. They are going to need a lot of delicious bits of fruit to nibble after all. And consider subscribing to become a citizen of Moss Stone Kingdom and all of its many adventures. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye-bye.